Hello guys, this is Death Dealer and welcome back to another episode of Fullcraft. I hope you all enjoyed the last episode. Please make sure to go and watch it so that you know everything we've done so far. And well, yeah, I'm having a ton of fun. So I've been doing a lot of work off camera, exploring and stuff. Dealt with the bandit problem. Currently set up a mega torch right here. But it only has a 64 block radius. So yeah, we're going to have a little bit of issues if we leave the area. But in my exploration... I have found a few weapon cases and, well, ring bobble things. So yeah, let's just open everything and take a look at this thing. That is good. Oh! Right, so rare. This one's got a faster draw speed, but that's a multiplier of four, so it has four arrows at once. Attack damage nine. Don't know if that's better. But yeah, um... I've been having fun, so today, uh, yeah, it goes in there. Today, we're going to be working on an applied energistic storage system because, well, this stuff isn't quite good enough. Because, yeah, I did an initially plan to put everything in one of these colossal chests, but I want to try doing applied energistics because I've never set up a successful system with that. Also, we have completed most of the starter quests so we got a ton of stuff and well yeah it's been good now where did i put those machine presses because that's one of the reasons why i was away exploring i had to get some of these inscriber press things and i do believe we have every single type so let me gather some more materials because we don't have enough to even get started and we'll Go down the rabbit hole. Okay guys, so to get started off, we need to make inscribers so that we can make all the processors required for all the other things in this pack. So as you can see, this is the inscriber recipe, but we need some of these flux crystals. Which can be difficult to make. Now, the only problem I found is you can find all the other resources very easily apart from the charged surface walls, which we need for this. Now, you can turn normal surface quartz into charged surface quartz by charging them up in a charger, but that also requires these flux crystals. So, yeah, this complicates things. Let's sleep away the night so we don't get any bad guys coming in near here because that's never good. That's never good at all. But if we come on down here, oh yeah, this kill, it gives me platinum. So yeah, it's a good little kill. Right, so, to get started we need to drop some redstone, some nether quartz, and some charged surface quartz. Give it a few seconds, and there we go. Excellent, so we have a lot more than I thought. Nice. Um, now, what we need to do, actually, is we need to... Do I have enough iron? Yes, I do. Create a charger. Yeah, what will do for now. Excellent. And how do we have enough for... Yeah, we do. Ah, slime. Slime or raw rubber. Do I have any of that lying around? Hmm. I don't think so, but that can be easily procured. But yeah, for this system, what we're going to be doing is it's going to be something very simple, just to start off. Because, well, yeah, I want to have all my inventories, well, all my storage stuff all connected so we can get started straight away. And plus, eventually, when we get into doing all the other complicated mods, like the Modern Warfare mod, for example, it will be a lot easier to get the resources. So, uh, I need to go and gather some more resources. I'm going to be here for quite some time because I have no near enough. And, well, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so, I went and cut down a few rubber trees from main factory reloaded. I never realised just how useful those things were. But, yeah, we have two inscribers. Well, we have some inscribers, but we're going to make two. Because we may need some of these resources later on today. And yeah, this story system is not good. Now we're going to be using it with, well, powering it using a coal generator, which we got from one of the quests. And I think we can set it up. Yeah, we'll set it up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll put the charger on top. Um, no wrong thing. There we go. There we go. Okay, right, so these inscribers are what we're going to be using for making our processors, which you can see some of them down here. 
and we need processors to make things like the ME drive for example which yeah we're going to need silicon for that one we that this press will be used in a lot of these well things diamond is pretty well you know it's easy to understand uh, we are also going to need an energy acceptor at some point but we should be okay for now maybe as you can tell i'm not exactly up to date with most of this stuff i don't know what i'm doing for most of it but yeah um also we're going to need to get working on making some of the like fluke pure fluke seeds and stuff like that because well normally those things take like eight days to grow so we need these crystal growth accelerators just to get us started on this thing we're also going to need a sagma to get the silicon up and running as well and how expensive is that for a sagma um flint yeah we can get everything there copper yeah 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 we can get everything um hmm yeah i'm not i'm not doing all that on camera hell no hell no that is too tedious ah also if you'll notice it if you've noticed yes i am wearing the obsidian armor and no it barely protects you against the bandits i'm just managed to get away from them earlier on about an hour ago or so but yeah this does not help so we need to sort those things out well folks i have done a bit of work i've collected a ton of resources as you can see i have a metric ton of fluid crystals fluid crystals flux crystals ah and i made seeds for the flux well the flux seeds so we can make the um what is it the, the pure one the pure type yeah and i've also done the same for the celtis quartz and funnily enough in the quest book if you go to let's get digital and you start off the applied energistics quest you get 10 levels for that by the way um well yeah you, as soon as you make 32 of these you get an extra 64 i've started to do this one but yeah i this whole questing system is helping us quite a bit now i've already made the certus quartz well the crystal growth accelerator things which will increase the speed of which these seeds will grow because it will take like seven days for them to grow and this will decrease that to maybe a few minutes something like that i was going to make five saying i should be able to make five but we should be okay for now and night time is back i only just slept honestly ah but yeah what we need to do now is in fact we need one of those power tap things the energy acceptor it just so happens we have the materials which are required to make that now because i've been working very very hard and i don't know but i seem to be really enjoying working with applied energistics i normally hate it but this time around it's yeah also we have a ton of silicon um well processing press things now so yeah um and my inventory is a complete mess uh, we'll get rid of the mega torch and the bucket for now so take this in and right so we need to make an energy acceptor we are missing one iron ingot i guess it couldn't hurt to pull some more out of there and do we have any iron ore lying around yes we do yeah, we need to expand this smeltery now we can because we're getting lots and lots of resources. Also, another thing to take note of, this little coal generator, it will be getting replaced with a lava generator at some point. And the next episode, we are going to be diving into the, well, the chickens that give you all the materials because, well, yeah, I guess it could be fun to work with. Okay, right, so, get that iron, there we go, and energy acceptor there we have it so uh come on thank you if we place it here we should still be able to access this yeah we can still access access it from there excellent and if say we well, let's work out how we want to place these things so if we do this so these things are facing towards what we are well well, the water will be, um, do this, that's the hole down to our mining area where we mine at bedrock because we're cool that way. Uh, no, you're wrong place. Ah. 
And finally in here, and in fact now we need the bucket again. <laughs> yeah, modded modded games, you, you run back and forth a lot. Also next episode we're probably be going to try and get more of these kills because they're very helpful. With materials like platinum for example, I never thought to use it. I get that out of my off hand, it's annoying me. Okay, now this won't work yet because we need to use the ME class cables, I believe, from here to here, maybe? Is that not right? Oh, that doesn't work. Um, here then? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, but th does that connect with, no it doesn't connect with everything, we need to run the pipes around. But luckily enough for us, power, well, the resources to make that stuff isn't going to be a problem. So, bring it around like so. Yeah, I've used up most of my cables, but this supply we have right now should, no, we won't have enough to bring it all the way around, I'm afraid. Oh, we're one block short, but we've covered everything, so that's okay. Um, but... If we drop the fluke seeds in this area, we'll give it a few seconds to, well, you know, do its business. Can you hear my dog? My dog's barking. Ah, not good. Okay, right, so look at it, 9% already. So, drop it back in. Um, there we go. So yeah, these don't actually despawn, which is a good thing. Now, to continue on working, what we're going to need to do is we want to set up our storage area. So we need an ME drive. So we can make these cables already. We need engineering processors, which we call out diamonds and the printed silicon, which we've already made. So this is real simple, very easy to make, and that'll be that. Also, what it, we also need, what would you call those things? Like we need storage drives as well. But we also need like a crafting terminal, which is, hmm, that doesn't seem right, hold on, um, but go back in the list, <laughs> yeah, it's not up here, like there's one, there used to be one that was like a full block, maybe it's been removed, quite possibly, I don't know, but yeah, we need like a crafting thing. Creative ME story still, that's not what we're looking for. But yeah, I think we'll go with the standard 1k ones, which requires a 1k ME storage component. We can make everything else, which is, well, yeah, yeah, this is this is going to be really easy. We're going down, down the rabbit hole, yes, I know, but yeah, we, we should be able to work pretty, pretty fast on this thing. I think we're going to have this system fully operational by the end of this episode. Okay guys, so I've done some more work and now, well, nothing has really changed here, but now I have an ME drive. I found a crafting mod out, the texture changed a little bit, but its recipe was, well, no, not that one, this one was this. Now, we're going to be going down the rabbit hole a little bit here, but just look at it, so you have to do this, which is these things which you make by doing this. By that, and we, well, we already know that sort of stuff, and down, down, <laughs> yeah, pretty simple, um, I've just exited the view, then go back in here, and then we know how to make all that stuff, so yeah, it's been quite a journey to get to this point, but now, what we're currently working on is making the 1k ME storage, well, things. Which we are, so we are going to have five drives, five drives to start off with. So, um, right, where is it? Here it is. We need some more quartz glass. And night time is back. Yeah, I'm having so much fun, the time, the time I spend on each episode, it's just, ugh. I think this is going to be the longest episode we have, well, yeah, well, there's only been one other episode. But, yeah, <laughs> this is a very, well... It's very, very strange, let's just say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right, so, ah, more surface quartz dust we, is required. Uh, we'll put... Uh, 
Uh, that that is what we want, right? We can easily get more set of squats, but I may have messed up. Neither oh well, neither or set of squats actually. So yeah, um, nothing to worry about there. Yay! But yeah, I think this is the fastest I've ever well set up one of these ME systems before. So yeah, I'm I'm liking this. Um. Quartz class, quartz class, they're both the same thing, yeah. Um, we don't have enough for this because we need two pair. So we need to make some more. So if I put, let's go with 10 in there for now because we need 10 pieces of quartz glass. And that should, should, well, should do it. No guarantees, of course. Now, also, I didn't actually mention this, but we've been, well, since I've been doing a lot of exploring, I found a ton of, well, Hermitrons, and, yeah, we have quite the collection now. Ooh, Black Red Lotus, ooh. Um, but, yeah, we have quite the collection already, so when we eventually do the whole Hermitron thing, we will, it shouldn't really be too difficult to collect them all. Yeah, um, right, so... To continue on, um, yeah, we have enough now. So, simple case of doing this, we need some more iron. We do have enough, one more block. Where's the iron ore? Do not, yeah, this thing really needs to be expanded. But since we can like crush cobblestone down and we can get clay pretty easily, yeah, we should be able to make that stuff pretty, well, pretty cheaply. All the one more ingot of iron. Oh well, that's all melting, so we shouldn't really be having any issues. But we need another five? No, no, we want to make five of these. So five to three, so we need 15 pieces, so we need to like do this. So do five. <sighs> See those damn things. Ah. Get out of my way. Um, right, so do this, do that. Oh, what am I short on? Wait, no, that isn't right. Hold on. You know, folks, I can be quite silly. I didn't realise that I ran out of redstone. I had all of the other components that I required. But with that being said, um, if I empty some rubbish out, get rid of those. We have all the stuff required to set up a system properly. So, I think what we need to do, as this isn't the final place, we'll maneuver it around and stuff. But if I, if say we do something like this, right? So that's getting connected. And then if I do this, does that work? Crafting monitor. I wrote the wrong thing. Ah <laughs> uh, no, I wrote the wrong thing. Ah uh, damn it. GG, yeah, you guys have probably been saying that in the comments. Definitely, you silly idiot. Why are you building that? You don't need it. Ah, uh, I really should have done my research. How silly of me. Right, we need to make this thing. Right, should we can. We should be able to make one of these. Formation core. Yeah, we can make that. Right, I'm going to make this thing, and this is the thing we want. God damn it, man. I'm so silly. So, folks, I made that up, and it, we managed to get that done pretty fast. But, yeah, we have an ME system up and running. This is truly amazing. Two episodes in, and we already have one of these up and running. Normally it would take me maybe five or six episodes to get all the materials. But yeah, but remember folks, bear in mind that in this part you don't need to make like the ME controller or anything to get this working and you don't need to worry about channels with your cables and stuff. So these massive cables aren't actually necessary. But yeah, we have this thing set up. So I already put in the storage drives. So each drive has space for 63 different types of items. So we need to remember not to put non-stack items in there because it will fill up really fast. 
we're saying that could create subsystems with up tons of other storage cells in them, but that's a story for another day. And each storage cell could ha can handle, well, can hold 1024 bytes, so one kilobyte of data in normal terms, like in terms we understand, so that's 1024 different um, items, I believe. So say if we put iron into the system, let's look on this storage drive, so it uses 9 bytes. So how much did I put in 2? And that's 2 bytes should. So if I like, just empty my inventory in there, oh, we've run out of power. Yeah, that's the thing we need to take care of relatively quickly. Like, I already have a magmatic generator here. So we can, we could like start, you know, filling the system up. Like, see if I, did I put my bucket in there? I better not have. Right, let's get some coal. Okay, right, so that should be it starting them back up, maybe. Ah, uh, yes, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. So, the more stuff you put into storage, the more of the power draw. So, if I sleep to get this to deal with, come on now. Um, ah, why are you not working? No. Ah, um, hmm. Maybe this is causing problems. Maybe. Because I think this draws power all the time, this thing here. So if we... Right, we'll, we'll get rid of the war. And then we'll get rid of these. Now can the system run? Yes. Yes, that was what's causing the power draw. Right. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can find my bucket. Where did I put my bucket? Here it is, it was in my inventory all along. Uh, right, so I I got this tank from one of the quests. Hold on and I'll show you to get started here. Yeah, we had to make one of those tanks. So if I fill the generator, it is now providing power, so we have a secondary source up and running. And well, yeah, now we can fill this thing up. So what I need to do now is need to have like a pro good source of lava. Which is why, why I want to start work on working with those chickens from that mod that's in the game. Also, you could, I think you maybe be able to get it from a kill or something. Other than that, I have to go and like manually get the lava myself. So what I'm going to do off camera as well, this is actually lasting quite quite a bit. Uh, let's fill up a little bit more. Uh, what I'll do off camera is I'll start like breeding up chickens. So that, well... Well, so that we can get a lava chicken at least, because let's take a look at it. Um, the lava chicken has... Right, so you need to breed coal chickens and nether quartz chickens. I believe you can get these nether quartz chickens, well... Well, you need an iron chicken and a bone white chicken. Bone white chicken, you need a bone white egg, which you can craft. Yeah. And iron, you need to breed bone white and flint. I already have a flint, so I can get flint. I can also get bone white, so if we can make iron. Uh, so, yeah, we can actually make both of these already. Coal chickens are, well, I already have one of those. A log chicken can, well, it can't be bred, so we need to find it in, like, loot bags and stuff. But, yeah, I'm sure I can find one at some point. Yeah, um, I think that will, oh, hello, um, I wonder, no, that's, aim's horrible, ah, I hit him, haha, <laughs> hmm, oh well, um, yeah guys, I'm afraid that will do it for this episode, I hope you enjoyed it, please give me feedback on this Amy system, Tell me how I could have made it better and stuff. But yeah, as I said, this isn't the final layout. 
of this thing. I want to eventually put it in a building or something because having it out in the open isn't good, especially if I remove that mega torch because then bandits will come very close to us and try and kill us, which I don't want. So guys, as always, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and if you really enjoyed it and want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you guys next time.